Oliver Steeds, who works for our ABC News Bureau in London, shot and reported the story you're about to see. We've been here about half an hour, and the police have come, and they're waiting for us outside. Luckily, the community have taken it upon themselves to try and protect us. They're saying, do not leave without their protection. So we're, we're all held up inside this community hall, trying to work out our next step, how we're going to get out, and how everyone else is going to get out. To take the pulse of the nation, you've got to come to the beating heart. And on a Saturday in central Haberoni, there's nowhere better than the market. This is the front line of a possible clash of civilizations. 70% of the population across the entire Greater Middle East are now under the age of 30. The demographic time bomb is ticking. 290 people used to live in the surrounding area and were reliant on this borehole for all their water. The government arrived and, as you can see, concreted over it. I want you to turn off the camera. You have to give me your tapes and erase my image. China's double-digit growth comes at a great price, the cost of development. For the people here, that means being moved from their houses to make way for new apartment blocks that the government want to build. Why is everybody here so angry with the government? Because everyone here wants more compensation money. I also hear that some of the, the people here have been arrested and detained, imprisoned and beaten up. Why is that? For what reason? No one has put it into the prison. Nobody. Well, we have spoken to people who have been arrested and imprisoned and put in military prison. You have to travel out from the capital, Nouakchott, to find that slavery is still not consigned to the history books. Across West Africa, Islam has been the prevailing religion for hundreds of years, and it's used as the justification for slavery. Shortly after we interviewed Aguelius Whaler, he was arrested on charges of fraudulently trying to raise money from Anti-Slavery International. Aguilius Whaler has been refused bail, and no date has been set for the trial. The problems faced by the Sami are similar to those problems faced by indigenous peoples around the world. And if there's one place where they stand a chance of being able to protect their rights, then it should be here, in Sweden, a country renowned for its strong sense of social justice. The World Cup is catalyzing the construction industry, but not without potential pitfalls. Building supplies like cement and steel need to be imported, as do people because South Africa just doesn't have a large enough skilled workforce to meet the surge in demand. When I think 2010, about 2010, I think, I think we'll to pass those tourists, to rob those tourists, do you know? All eyes should be on the Arabian Peninsula. Weapons are sold like brands. The brands here are not Nike or Adidas, but the countries of origin, the countries where they're made. A stone's throw from Mecca is Jeddah, the corporate headquarters of the Bin Laden family and the end of Highway 15. In Jeddah, young people embrace American culture. They watch pirated DVDs like Fast and Furious and take to the streets. Identity is worn on the sleeve. At this illegal crossing, this man openly recorded his trade. 15 tons of smuggled timber coming over every seven minutes. This illicit trade happens with the full knowledge and involvement of Myanmar's ruling generals. China have a choice. In Myanmar, they don't. The KIO are now talking of return to war as the only solution left to them. It's not true what many people say. You should believe what you are seeing now, and I suggest you stop filming here now. Okay.